Our story begins in the mid-18th century, a time when the American colonies were growing increasingly discontent under British rule. The seed of this unrest was sown by a series of taxes and regulations that Britain imposed on its American subjects. Acts such as the Sugar Act, the Stamp Act, and the Townsend Acts provoked widespread resistance and protests among the colonists. These were not mere laws, they were chains that bound the colonies to the motherland, chains that the colonists yearned to break. The Boston Tea Party, a notable act of defiance became a symbol of this yearning. In response, Britain unleashed the intolerable acts, punitive measures meant to quell the rebellion. Instead they fanned the flames of colonial anger, leading to calls for a collective response. No longer could the colonies stand alone, unity was their only path forward. The stage was set for a united front, a gathering of minds that would come to be known as the First Continental Congress. On September 5, 1774, 56 delegates from 12 of the 13 colonies gathered in Philadelphia's Carpenters Hall. Among these delegates were remarkable figures like George Washington, John Adams, and Patrick Henry, each bringing with them a unique perspective and a common goal, to address the escalating conflict with Britain. These men hailed from diverse backgrounds, from wealthy planters to learned lawyers, and they held varying views on how to respond to the British actions. During the Congress, several crucial decisions were made. One of the most significant was the agreement to boycott British goods, a collective act of defiance that united the colonies in a common cause. Additionally, they drafted the Declaration and Resolves, a bold document that outlined colonial rights and grievances, laying bare their discontent with British rule. After seven weeks of intense debate and negotiation, the Congress adjourned on October 26, promising to reconvene the following year if their demands were not met. The First Continental Congress marked a pivotal moment in American history. It was more than just a meeting of minds. It was a unifying stand, the first significant attempt to bring together the 13 colonies in opposition to British rule. The Congress was not without its disagreements of course, but it was a testament to the spirit of cooperation and resolve that defined the times. This gathering set the stage for even bolder actions. It laid the groundwork for the Second Continental Congress, which would take the monumental step of declaring independence from Britain. The decisions made and the resolutions passed in that first meeting echoed through the halls of the Second Continental Congress and beyond. Though it was just the beginning, the First Continental Congress set in motion a series of events that would lead to the birth of a new nation, forever changing the course of world history.